Hi everyone, I'm today doing Gupshap with Shamol. How do you say your name, Shamol? Shmuel. It's two syllables. Shmuel. Shmuel. No, Shmuel. Yes. So it's Shmuel or it's Shmuel. Yes, that's fine. Shmuel. Yes. Shmuel. Okay. So I, it's very difficult. I, I don't know anybody else who is Shmuel. I only know L and Y and Z. You know. So. <laughs> I, 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 it's difficult for me always, so I go with calm, like calm yes. person, which you were not before, for sure. So, um, how's everything? Alhamdulillah, we are, we are well today. How is, what time is it in Israel right now? Haha, <laughs> it's 4 a.m. Whoa, and you're still awake? Um, I'll be going to sleep soon, yes, I have some translation work to do. Oh, nice. So, what are you doing nowadays for work? Um, translation from uh, mostly technical documents oh. from Hebrew into English. So you're doing a lot of work for uh, Silicon Valley people then? No, very little actually. Some, well, actually some, but... Um, so how, where, where in Israel are you? Which city? Um, I'm in a town called Tal Menashe. Tal Menashe. Um, yes, this is, is about... Um, 60 kilometers north of Tel Aviv. Okay. And how far are you from Ramallah? You said very from, from Ramallah. 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 Um, about, there's also 60 kilometers in a straight line. But to get there, I have to go all the way around. Oh, okay. So are you are one of the settlers, I believe. Yes. So what's a settler? Um, it's a silly term because if you ask... Um, people who are against the settlements, well, when did the settle, settlement start? Um, many people will tell you, well, that any city in Israel is a settlement. So um, it's just another way of, make, of making a point that these towns are supposedly different. So are you on a disputed land or an undisputed land? Um, undisputed land, yes. Disputed land, okay. Oh, boy. And when do we see the dispute ending? That is a very good question. Um, I think what will, I think what will happen is that at some point Israel will find itself with its back against the wall, and will have to do something to change the status quo. So, what is the solution? Um, I think what will happen, what should happen, is that Israel will formally. Um, annex the West Bank and give full citizenship to all the residents. Um, so the like people of Palestine will become Israelis? Yes. And would they would um, be happy with that? I think that if we say, look, we're going to rebuild the West Bank to Israeli standards of living, um, and if you want, you can stay, and if you want, you can leave. I think most people will be happy with that. Most people, day to day, don't really care who the government is. They want to get on with their lives, have peace and quiet. Um, and it's very, it's very easy. You look at the news, what's happening in the entire Middle East, there's only one country that has peace and quiet. It's very funny, but Israel is the safest place for an Arab to be at the moment. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Uh, but if I talk to people in, who are living in Palestine, they're like, what are you talking about? It's never going to happen. We will never take Israeli citizenship. But I don't know. So Tell that to the I thousands think. of people in East Jerusalem who keep on applying for Israeli citizenship. Um, yeah. I, I, think the, the, I think at the moment what they're seeing is the conflict. If... If we make, if we show them that we can give them everything that they want except for a flag, I think that will be a deal that they can live with. Um, I also, I don't think we have, we will have the option to give them a choice. Okay, let's change the subject. It's getting warm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, how's everything? How's life? How many children do you have? I have seven. Wow, mashallah. How many? How 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 old is the oldest? My I have five daughters and two boys. My oldest daughter is nineteen. Oh wow! So 
Uh, is it arranged marriage in Israel or is she going to go and pick somebody up? Sorry? Uh, do you believe in arranged marriages or is she have going to have a choice or something? No, uh, no but, uh, very few people in Israel have arranged marriages. Only the most extreme uh, orthodox. I, I thought you were one of those. No, no, no. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Uh, so, like, how would she go and find someone? What happens? Like, did she go on match.com or what happens? No, well, some people use dating sites, but what, the way I met my wife was somebody who knew me and also knew her set us up. It's a blind date. You know what a blind date is. Right. Friends introduce you, and uh, that's the way it goes. So, but your mother has nothing to do with it or everything to do with it, or how does that work? Nothing at all. Nothing? Nothing. So, so your daughter would have complete choice to go and marry someone. You wouldn't do anything about it. Um, if I had a very good reason to tell her not to marry this specific person, I would give her my advice. Um, cool. But that's about it. Touche. Okay. Let's see. And uh, so your mother was born in Seattle? Yes. Yeah, we went to see your brother. It was fun. Yes. I think the video is still not out, but I don't know what happened to that video. But that should be fun. And I think Ziani might have it. What else? Um, and your youngest is how old? Five. Oh, wow. And what's his name? His name is Malachi. 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 Okay, let's take all the names. Malachi. Um, David. David. Hadar. Hadar. Roni. Roni. Shalhevet. Shalhevet. Okay, that's three yes. syllables or one or two? Shalhevet. So, three syllables. Yes. Shalhevet, okay. Is she, does she or he, is that a she or a he? That's a she. That's a she. So, does she have a nickname? The means flame. Flame, okay. Um, sure. And the two eldest would be Orit and Batel. Okay, Batel, B-A-T-E-L? Yes. Batel, like Patel in India? I don't know, I've never heard of Batel. No, Patel, P-A-T-E-L? Yes, but there's a hyphen in the middle. Uh, B A T E L. Yes. Cool. Are they all on Facebook? No. Um, only one of them is on Facebook. Oh, you don't allow them, or what happens? No. Um, they're not interested. What? No <laughs> Facebook? How is that possible? <laughs> Ready? Okay. Um, what else? So now ask me something, which is chatting. Um, so how long are you going to be in the USA for? Mm, um, hopefully another month. Oh, that's nice. Enjoying your visit. Yeah, I'm at my house I, in Florida, um, which I have only been in this house for like maybe 17 days in five years. It's sad that they wouldn't let me be here. Um, and it was fun. We had internet this time, good internet. So, you know, I'm just sleeping on the floor. You know, it's nothing fancy. And, uh, just, just hanging out, but it's house, right? It's your own home. Yes. So it feels a little different. And I don't know anybody in Pensacola, not many, I guess. Um, so I get to do whatever I get, but. I have my kids with me, so they want to sort of dictate, uh, or not dictate, but they're very sweet, but I have to take care of them. Um, we have a nice park across the street, um, then the, the restaurants are not too far. Uh, my son cooks, so you know he makes me breakfast and coffee and stuff. So it's all good. And I think today, when packing is done and everything is in the car, so I might be leaving now or maybe tomorrow towards Houston again. Dropping them off and uh, going further towards California. So.
it is like. You seem to be having fun, so why are you complaining about such is life? Such is life, you know. I, I try to have as much fun as I can, but it's not as much as I want. Yes, that, that, that's a very good way to look at life. I could, I could have, I could have more. So I'm greedy, maybe. <sighs> what else? It's ten minutes, so now we'll take a break so that the video is not too long. Okay.